Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick video on changing my uh, stab this uh, stabilizer bar link. I changed my struts yesterday and then I noticed that one of these was bad. So I figured why not change them both. So this is the part number from uh, Duralast AutoZone. SL377. And both of them are the same for each side. So I already put that side on. And I just want to make a quick video and um, install this side. Just so you guys can get an idea. It's very easy. So all you need is a uh, just a basic ratchet and some pliers because sometimes the whole thing will spin inside. So just have some uh, pressure pliers, vice grips pliers uh, handy. And just in case it spins and um, a, uh, a 17 millimeter this side is smaller this is like a uh, 14 but when I installed the new one the nut is a 17 so you got to have those two sockets ready also So this one is 14, and the new from the new uh, nut from the new part is 7 17. So just have those two sockets ready. So you're gonna have two different nuts there. This one didn't, didn't spin, but the bottom one usually does. You know, the whole thing will spin with the, with the screw and everything. Let me see if this one does it. It's this nut right here. Put this camera over here somewhere. I have to get under here. Hold on, guys. This one right here. I'm using my Milwaukee electric ratchet, but you can use any ratchet with this. This is just to make it a little faster. See, this one is spinning the whole thing. Let me see. Yeah, spinning the whole thing, so I'm gonna put uh, the pressure pliers in between there. So you just gotta put the pressure pliers right there and grab the inside part. Let's see now. Should be okay now. It's probably still spinning again. Tighten this a little bit more. Let's try this again.
Yeah, it's coming out now, guys. So now, I'm gonna have to lift up the other side a little bit so this can uh, release some of that pressure and come out easily. So let me jack up the other side. This, this um, link from this side wasn't too bad, but the other one was wasted. See? This one wasn't too bad. But I figured why not just change them both, you know? So I got this one from AutoZone. I like to, you know, change parts and pairs better. Instead of just replacing one because just replace one remember the other one shouldn't be uh, you know it's gonna be it's gonna be going soon also so it's better to just replace both trying to hurry up because it's started raining here in New York so I don't want to get too much wet See the, the size changes. This one is 17 now. I'm gonna torque these down to uh, it's supposed to be like 58 foot pounds, I believe. So just check your manual just to make sure whatever torque uh, specs it is, just to be sure, you know. torque wrench here and that's it and you're done guys so there you go 2003 Camry I replaced the struts yesterday and today I just replaced the uh, stabilizer bar links sway bar links all right now these are not greasable, so they don't have a fitting back here. So 
No need to grease them. They already came greased up from the factory. Which these do have a fitting here, as you can see. But all right. That's all for now, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and God bless.